nothing planned right now. My brother's getting married, so I have a wedding to go to. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Will you attack your kind of off-season work regimen the same way as, as years past, or uh, what's a particular focus for you on what you'll work on within your game? It'll, it'll evolve. I'll try to think of some, some new things to try and to put into my like a program, like a summer program, but the main thing is just spending time in the gym, the, the weight room, trying to uh, refine basketball skills and get stronger and faster. Kyle, no one knew what this season cast of characters in, in this building. What were your expectations and how did what happened mesh or not mesh with what you thought this season could be? Coming into a basketball year, always your, your expectations and ideas of the season are always positive and striving to obtain and reach certain goals. Um, I thought we did most of that this year. Um, there are obviously things that we wanted to accomplish and achieve that we didn't. So, yeah. under th under that umbrella, it, it's it's a dis it's a disappointment. But I'm I'm more than c confident and sure that we we did things this year that we're proud and happy about. Carl, you're the best man in your in your first place. <laughs> I am, but he's not having any like groomsmen or best man. It's a very small wedding, so. Uh, I don't think I'll, I'll say something, but uh, I don't have to do the the best man thing, which is great. And whatever that is, I, I've never had to be the best the best man. So. Put a lot of thought into you know what you're gonna say. Um. No, I mean really. Uh, whenever. I mean, my brother means a lot to me, and uh, I'm sure whatever I have to say will come out. Um, super, super proud of him, and kind of like the the jump he's making is is a great one because I know the girl that he's marrying, and I I know the man that she's marrying, so I'm really happy for him. Since you've been here, you know you you've had this this kind of contract that people talk about behind the scenes, and I know guys don't like to talk about the whole idea of you know being pressured to live up to expectations or anything like that. But how do you deal with the, the chatter or, or the things that go on around you when you know your your production may not amount to the the money that that's going on there. How do you live up to that? Or how do you deal with that? Um, I don't ever face myself in the mirror saying, "Oh, since I make a certain amount of money, I should be productive in in this way." I've worked m my entire life to get to the point of where I am today and there's nothing more satisfying and, and, and gratifying than knowing that you're putting the time into your craft to something that you love um, and the growth that you can see within yourself. I mean, I don't, of course, like, I want to do the best that I can and um, with that being said, I have a whole um, A whole work to look at and it's just not what I've done in the past it's what I'm going to do in the future as well you've got one of the you've got like an alternative workout for the most part you do a lot of you know, the float tank and stuff and cupping and all that kind of stuff is there anything else that you're going to add this off season in the next year that you're looking into anything like that um alternatively probably not I might work out with my brother a little bit more. We've done it in, in, in the past, but um, I think this year, just being around him, playing a lot more five-on-five, five, um, I think is what I'm going to probably focus on more. Uh, I love the float. I love meditation, yoga, anything that falls under kind of getting the mind and body sinking uh, is kind of – Always a positive for of 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 for me. Kyle, people around the league have termed this the season of Westbrook. You know, talking about how amazing all the things he's done. You were obviously there for a lot of those things. What stands up to you about this season uh, in terms of Russell? 
the whenever talking about Russ, you got to talk about the group because um, they go hand in hand. Um, being around wrestling, being around the team has always been uh, been amazing. Um, you've seen what he's done on on the court, but uh, the th the things that happen off the court are in many ways just as impressive. Like Russell could uh, in many ways alienate himself from the group, but he never does. Whenever we're out to dinner, he's with us, and you know it's. Russell's a better person off the court than he is on than he is on the court. So that's a great that's a great thing that Russell has. Todd was just in here a second ago talking about how you know he knew Russell some before, but that maybe other guys around him don't know sort of what you're talking about. He was saying that same sort of thing. Is that something that you don't know until you're a, a teammate of, of Russell? Well, it's fitting for anything in life. Like you don't really get to know anyone until you can really ask questions, hang out with them on a daily basis. Uh, so, yeah, um, there's another side of everyone, and Russell kind of fits that same mold. Anything else? Thanks, Cal. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Carl, Ticket and <laughs> <laughs> 10 hours on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys. No sympathy.